When Hurricane Laura tore through the Texas-Louisiana border this week, Frank Macchiarola with the American Petroleum Institute says the U.S. oil heartland was in its direct path. You were looking at uh, potentially up to 7 million barrels of capacity uh, for the refining space. Uh, in the in the area of the storm, about 27 refineries. But Macchiarola says the storm changed course and barely missed dozens of chemical facilities, many of which are storing the extra oil that was produced during the pandemic. As the governor of, of Texas noted, um, it really could have been much worse. The fortunate thing about a hurricane coming in an area that is hurricane prone is that there's a better set of preventative measures in place. Devin Hartman with the R Street Institute says they're still assessing the damage, but he says oil companies were prepared and evacuated their facilities in advance. So they were able to take these units offline. Otherwise, you're looking at tens of millions of dollars of damages per facility if you can't make those sufficient preparations. Hartman says now the question will be how long until they can get back up and running before the next storm. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicky.